Hey everyone, welcome to Same But Vegan, where I veganize famous recipes, famous restaurants recipes. Uh, yeah, I already do this all the time at home for myself, but I figured uh, that you would like to see uh, that because there's not a lot of those kind of videos, I think. Anyways, this recipe that I'm do making today is uh, Magnolia's Bakery, Magnolia Bakery's famous banana pudding. They are a bakery that is uh, located in New York. I am in Los Angeles and it's not vegan, so I'm going to recreate it here because it popped up on my feed and I, uh, I want to try it, like really try it. So yeah, maybe, hopefully it's good. Uh, hopefully y'all try it. Uh, so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna make the vanilla pudding from scratch. Also, pardon my hair, I just I had it in braids, so it's like a little wavy. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make my vanilla pudding from scratch. And then I also bought this plant-based topping. I usually make my own whipped cream, but I'm lazy today and I don't have soy milk. The kind of soy milk that I need for that anyways. Uh, I'll put the, the recipe for that uh, link because the link for that recipe in the description because it's not my recipe, but it is my favorite. So I definitely recommend it if you don't have access to vegan whipped cream. And then for the wafers, I'm gonna use this uh brand that i got at whole foods and i also got their brand of plant-based topping so yeah if you don't want to buy this you can also make your own but yeah let's get started and i will see you when it's time to try the thing okay let's start off by adding our ingredients to a pot then right now the fire is off so we are going to just add our dry ingredients which is Sugar, I used Zolka, some cornstarch, and a little bit of salt just to bring out the sweetness more to enhance it. And I actually messed up here. I was not supposed to add the vanilla. Uh, it's just supposed to be the uh, dry ingredients, but it's okay. Still came out bomb. Um, okay, so then we're going to add our, sh our uh, milk. I'm using Silk. It's my favorite just because it is super cheap and I like the consistency. It's like nice and thick. Um, okay, so once that is mixed, I am going to add turmeric for color. Add a little bit, um, maybe like a quarter teaspoon because um, it does get darker as you'll see in a second once it cooks. Um, so, And also turmeric has a pretty strong flavor. We're just adding it for color. Anyways, after it is thickened up considerably, it will thicken up as it cools, uh, so remember that. Um, we're going to transfer it to a bowl and then we are going to just let it cool. Um, I let it cool at room temperature for a while and then I threw it in the fridge for it to set, I think maybe like an hour. And then this is how it came out. I forgot to put, well, not forgot, I was too lazy to put plastic wrap. Anyways, that's the whipped cream that I am going to be using. It is vegan. I got it at Whole Foods. Uh, you can also make your own. I will put a link in the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add a little bit first just to um, kind of lighten up the pudding, which is pretty thick right now. I'm just going to fold in my whipped cream. Um, I think I added it in three batches um, with my spatula um, we want to keep as much of the air uh, that comes in the whipped cream as possible the whipped cream that I'm going to link is just made with coconut milk uh, sorry soy milk coconut oil xanthan gum, xanthan gum I don't know how to say that thing and uh, I think a little bit of salt and vanilla is super easy um, and I hope you guys try it it's really good anyways you see how our vanilla looks now it's like nice and um, fluffy and well incorporated so now we are going to just get a container and put a base layer on the bottom and then we're gonna add a layer of our cookies wafers vanilla wafers um i didn't think i was gonna have enough so i was kind of stingy on my first layer i should have covered it all uh pretty well but um i didn't realize i was gonna have more than enough and also i should have cut the 
banana slices a little bit thinner, I think. I think. And then another layer of the pudding mixture, followed by the cookies, wafers. Um, I think I only got those three layers out, so I added a little bit more cookies this time. Uh, sorry, wafers. <laughs> And then uh, some more banana. And then I threw it in the fridge just to set. I think they say that at least three hours so the uh, wafers can soften up. And if you leave it uh, more than overnight, longer than overnight, uh, well, the bananas will get dark and brown. So if you don't care, it's cool, but if you care about how it looks and if you want to take pictures, just keep that in mind. And um, I also ended up just garnishing the top with a little bit of um, the vanilla wafers that I just crushed in between my hands. And that was it. Okay, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is too much. I'm probably, in all honesty, that was my, my saliva. Sorry, my mouth is running. I'm probably not going to finish all of this, but it's okay. I filled it up this much so I could take pictures because, you know, aesthetic. Look at that. Okay. It looks super fluffy. It smells good. This was in the fridge, maybe about three hours no like four hours anyways let's dig in and let's see what the big fuzz is about. oh my god i'm scared i'm gonna spill it over mm. oh my goodness um. Oops. okay all right i get it i understand why this is like, mmm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I got it. Okay, this is really good, y'all. I I love banana anything. Honestly, I love banana bread, banana shakes, anything. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't talk, I have to finish this. Anyways, I hope you guys, y'all like this video. Um, if you have any recommendations of other new videos, um, like what recipes, what cult recipes you want me to recreate but vegan, make sure to comment and I will do my best to recreate them. Obviously, I don't know what the originals taste like, so I can only come up with my best interpretation. But yeah, it was really good, y'all. See you when I see you. <laughs>